Welcome back to a new video from somewhere in Austria where Justin and I are attending a special event from Audi called Performance on Ice because there's some ice left as you can see and there were many cars that we could have chosen today when we arrived but we didn't go for a V8, we didn't go for a V6 but for the good old 5 cylinder to be more precise we went for the Audi RS3 Performance Edition because it's limited, it's really fast and we're gonna have a look at it today and go into detail on what's really special about it. Let's go! we are gonna start with the exterior look of the car and there's one detail some of you might have seen it on the regular RS3 mold but if I unlock the car there's a different animation which actually tells you the most important fact about the car I'm gonna unlock it now and you can see it shows 300 and then a race flag which like I just said is the most important fact about the car because not as the usual Audi RS3 the car is not limited to 150 kilometers per hour, but to 300. 300 on the dot. You can drive 300 with this on the Autobahn or on a racetrack, I don't know. Because Audi added seven horsepower. The car has not 400, but 407 horsepower. So if there's a Porsche GT3, for example, on the Autobahn, you can catch up with it, which is pretty cool. What's also important to mention is that this color, I think it really matches the car and it's called Pfeilgrau, which translates to arrow gray, I wanna say. But anyways, that's not really important. What's really important is that you get the ceramic brake as standard in this car, which usually costs, I don't know, like five or 6,000 euros. What else is there? If you walk around the car, I mean, you guys know the Audi RS3 sedan. It just looks beautiful, more beautiful than the sport bag for me personally. You also get the sport exhaust. Justin, just come around here real quick. You get the sports exhaust as standard as well. But that's enough for the exterior. We're gonna have a look at the interior because there's something that really, really got us interested. What we gotta do to show you this next feature is open the rear door because as you can see, there's a really special bucket seat, which is called Super Sport seat. We're gonna have a look at the front of the seat, which shows Alcantara mostly, some real leather, and you get a really special blue, which is specifically only available for this Audi RS3 performance. But as it seems, Audi had some more Alcantara laying around, so you get a full Alcantara steering wheel, which is really, really grippy and it's just, it looks beautiful. I'm really into Audi Alcantara steering wheels. And because Alcantara really matches with the appearance of carbon fiber, Audi also decided to add some real calm fiber in the inlays of the of the interior on the dashboard. But now, let's take a drive. So since that's what all of you guys want to see, I guess, uh, we just found a really empty parking lot because we want to try out the drift mode. And for that, you actually got to activate something. I got to press the drive select button here and then choose RS Torque Rear. And now, every traction control, every single bit of it is turned off. So now, we should be able to do some really nasty drifts. pretty well also now we don't really need a BMW anymore I feel because you have all-wheel drive you can change it to the real that's all we wanted Audi's that drift since launch control starts for Audi's uh, one of their best skills they have, I want to say this is what we're going to try right now. So what we're going to do is turn the traction control off, go into the RS performance mode, 
one foot on the brake really hard one on the throttle rev it up to what is it 4000 rpm car is supposed to do 3.8 seconds performed really well if you consider that we have winter tires on and we have minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius and it's a little bit wet <laughs> all these conditions Quattro is just more or less a guarantee that you can use your car's performance not only when it's 20 degrees and during the summer outside but for the entire season right for the throughout the entire year you can have fun with your car and that's really something that gets me every time when driving an Audi but I think that's enough for now. You have got some impressions of the sound and the drift abilities that the car has. So we're gonna take one or two more turns and then um, we're gonna wrap this up. Can he drive? Can he drive? <laughs> <laughs> We're already at the end of this video. I hope you guys found some entertaining in watching today's video. There is gonna be a second video where we actually went on drifting on a bigger ice area with Audi as well and with other Audi models. Anyways, you guys leave me a comment uh, about what you think of the Audi RS3 performance and follow me on social media to get all the reels and photos that we post and the stories, some behind the scenes. And thanks for watching. And I think I'm gonna have another go now. See you.